Conversation for Daily Life What are you doing? I'm waiting for this music store to open. How long have you been waiting? About two hours. That's crazy! What for? Today, my favorite band released their new CD. So what? I want to buy a copy before they sell out. So you've been waiting for two hours in the cold. Actually, I've been waiting for three months since I heard they were releasing a new album. When does the music store open? In another 30 minutes. Well, good luck waiting. Where are you going now? I'm going home to order that album from the internet. I'll get to hear it before you. Yes, and you'll be sick for standing in the cold. Have a good time. Bye. Size, quantity, and weight. Dialogue 1. Excuse me. Yes, what can I do for you today? I need to order some apples. How many do you need? About two kilograms. Okay. Let me choose for you the best ones. Thank you. This is two and a half kilograms. Do you want to take all of it or just the two kilograms? Mmm, no, I just need two kilograms. Oh, okay, that should be fine. Okay, there you go. That's about two kilograms. Perfect. Please go to the counter for payment. Okay, thanks. Dialogue 2 Can you do me a favor? Sure, what can I do for you? Could you go to the grocery store? I need to buy some things. Alright. What do you want me to get? Well, could you pick up some salt? Okay, how much? A small bag. I guess I also need a half a dozen eggs. Oh, are we out of milk? Yes, thanks for reminding me. Please get a bottle. Is that all? I think so. Have you got all that? Yes, that's a small bag of salt a dozen eggs, and a bottle of milk. Do you have enough money? I think so. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Time and date. Dialogue 1. Do you know that the school changed our class schedule? No. When does it change? Beginning of next week. Really? What is the change? They changed the morning classes from 8 to 8.30. So now the lunch break is from 12 to 2 o'clock p.m. instead of 11.30 to 1.30 p.m. That's good. I hate to rush for the morning 8 o'clock classes. I didn't even have time to eat my breakfast. It does make a difference to me. I always get up early at 6 a.m. I like to do a little exercise in the morning. I know you are a hard-working person. Dialogue 2 time is it? It's almost 8 o'clock. Why do you ask? My favorite film starts at 8.30 p.m. I want to get ready for it. So quickly. There are only 30 minutes left. Yes, I only have to clean the kitchen now. 
Let me help you wash the dishes. Oh, yes, thank you, darling. After finishing it, could you please make me a cup of coffee? No, you shouldn't drink coffee so late. You're going to stay awake all night. If I don't drink coffee, I won't last through the whole film. It's about two hours long. Well, only today. Yes, darling. Dialogue 3 Where are you going? I'm going to the park. How often do you go? Every afternoon. I do exercise, go jogging. Great! It is good for your health. How long do you exercise and go jogging at the park? Uh, around an hour and a half. I often come back home at 6.30. So what time do you have dinner? After I come back, I take a bath and have dinner then, normally at 7.30 p.m. Hmm, that sounds suitable. Shopping Dialogue 1 Sorry, could you help me find a dress? Certainly, madam. I'll help you in a minute. What color would you prefer? I like that blue one with the small pattern. Here it is. Please try it in the fitting room. Okay, let me try. Madam, you look beautiful in this dress. Really? How much is it? It is $150. Will you take any less? No, I'm sorry, the price is firm. All right, I'll take it. Dialogue 2 Welcome! Can I help you? Hello! I'm looking for a pair of shoes. What size do you wear? Size 11. What color do you want? Black, please. Yes, could you try this one? Okay, how much are they? Are these shoes on sale? Yes, they are. The original price is $30, now it is $25. Okay, I'll try them on. They're too tight. Maybe I should try a bigger size. Okay, let me get the bigger one. They're just right. I'll take them. Dialogue 3 Excuse me, do you work here? Yes, I do. Is there something I can help you with? Yes, I'm repainting my basement. I need something better than an old brush to use. How about a spray gun? That sounds fun, but is it difficult to use? Not at all. Take a look at this one here. Wow, it looks like a gun from a space movie. Yeah. But it's a great tool. You can adjust the tip or a smaller spray. I guess that's better for small details and corners. Right? And this one's on sale this week. Yes, can I return it if it has a problem? Any problems, you can return it for a full refund, but that shouldn't be necessary. The manufacturer has included a five-year warranty. That's a guaranteed quality. Great, I'll take it. Well, good luck with painting. Thanks. Offers and Invitations Dialogue 1 
What are you guys doing this weekend? We've got tickets for a concert. They've got some singers from Korea playing. That's great. I haven't been to a concert in a long time. Why don't you come with us? Really? That is a good idea. Sure, we can buy another ticket easily. Thanks, when is it? Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. We'll be waiting for you at the entrance. Alright, I'll see you then. Dialogue 2 Peter, what are you doing for Christmas? I'm staying on campus. Why? You're staying on campus? Doesn't your family love you? Yeah, but they're in Russia right now. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Study some. Maybe go to Jack's house for dinner. That doesn't sound very fun. What choice do I have? You could come home and have dinner with my family. Is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. The more the merrier. I don't know. My family won't mind. It's a three hour drive from here. When are you leaving? The day after tomorrow. Okay. Great, then it's settled. You'll have a happy Christmas for sure. Congratulations and celebrations. Dialogue 1 You look dressed up. What's going on? I am going on a date with my girlfriend. So that's why you've got those lovely flowers. What's in that package you're holding? Two things, a box of chocolates and a gold necklace. Your girlfriend is very lucky. I'll bet she'll be very happy. But I think you should buy a bunch of roses. Every woman likes roses. Okay, I will buy a bunch. I guess that your girlfriend will probably be very happy and you both have a good time. I hope you're right. Dialogue 2 Hey Tom! Oh, hi Anna. How's it going? It's going great. Did you hear the news? No, what is it? I just got accepted to business college. When did you find out? I have just gotten an email this morning. Wow! This is great! Congratulations! Thank you. I'm so excited. I am eager to go to college. But first, let's celebrate it. Yes, I would like to invite you to my house this evening. Thank you. I will certainly come. Anybody else coming? Yeah, I will invite Lucy, David, and Kate together. The more people, the merrier. Yes, it has been a long time since we have gathered together. Yes, let's enjoy a nice party tonight. Sure, and again, congratulations. You've earned it. No, I got lucky, but thank you for saying so. Okay, see you this evening. Yeah, see you this evening. <music> Telephone calls. Dialogue 1. Hello. Hello, is this Lucy? I am sorry. There's nobody here by that name. Is this 56332512? No, it isn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I dialed the wrong number. No problem. <music> Dialogue 2 
Dialogue 2 Hello, may I speak to Julia? Sorry, she isn't in the office. May I ask who's calling? This is Anna from ABC Company. Do you want to leave a message? Don't bother. I'll call her mobile. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Dialogue 3 Thank you for calling Sunrise Enterprise. How may I help you? Is Miss Anne there? May I ask who's calling? This is John. I was supposed to call Ms. Anne at this time. Could you hold for one moment, please? Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. Her line is busy. Can I take a message? Um, actually, could you put me through to the sales department? Please wait for me a few minutes. I'll get you through now. Thank you. Food and Dining Dialogue 1 Honey, this soup is so great. Really? Do you like it? Yes, it's very delicious. What is it? It's an old family recipe, mostly chicken and a few spices. Well, I think it's great. Thanks. And could you pass me the salt? It's not salty enough already. It's fine, but I love salt. That's not healthy. I know, but it tastes good. Well, slow down. This is just the first dish. What's next? Your favorite dish. Baked chicken and lemon sauce. Wow, I'm going to eat until I burst. I'm happy to see you eat. Dialogue 2 Are you ready to order now, madam? Yes, I would like the beef steak. Okay, and would you prefer mashed potatoes or macaroni and cheese with that? I prefer macaroni and cheese. And what kind of salad do you want? I want Italian type. Okay, anything to drink? A cup of orange juice, please. Okay, that's the beef steak with macaroni and cheese and a salad with Italian type and a cup of orange juice. Please wait for me for a minute. Okay. Greetings. Good morning, Alice. How are things with you? Good morning, Simone. I am great now. You look beautiful today. Do you plan to go anywhere? Really? Actually, I have a date this morning. Do you know what time it is? Oh, that sounds great. It is 9.45 a.m. now. Well, I don't want to be late for my first date. I'll see you later. Have a nice date. Morning. How are you feeling today? Thanks for your chicken soup last night. I feel much better. It was really delicious. I am very happy to have a good roommate as you. No, thanks. I'm glad I could help. Are you going to work today? Yes, I go to work now. I have many things to do. So, let's eat quickly, otherwise you will be late. Yes, I have to go now. See you this afternoon. See you. Hi, Rosa. It is good to see you. Hi, good to see you again. How are you doing? Everything is going well. I'm glad to hear that. 
Do you still work for Sunrise Company? Yes, this is my second year of working here. Good! If you have time, I would like to invite you to my house. Okay, I will come soon. Keep promises, you are welcome all the time. Meeting people. Hi, I am Laura. How do you do? Hi, Laura. I am Thomas. It's been great. How do you do? Hope to receive your strong support from now on. Me too. Hi, how are you? Oh, hello. You are Helen, right? That's right. Sorry, what's your name again? Christina Aguilera. Please call me Christina. Okay, Christina. This is my roommate, Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Where are you from? I am from California. Oh, you have a nice accent. Thank you. You are the first person to talk about that. Listen. Emily, I am really hungry. Do you want to get something to eat with me? Sorry, Linda, I can't eat right now. I have to meet my new roommate. Oh, really? Who is she? She is Susan, a freshman. Okay, see you later then. See you. Saying goodbye. I'm hungry. Do you want to get something to eat? No, I have to learn for an examination tomorrow. You sure? Yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, done. I've got everything right here. Please take care of yourself, daughter. Don't worry, Mom. I will take care of myself. You need to take care of yourself, too. I will miss you so much. Remember to call me every day, daughter. Yes, Mom. I will do that. I will miss you, too. But you can come and visit me in the school this fall. Sure, I will. Call me once you get to school, okay? I will, Mom. Please go inside. I will wait until you go into the bus. See, Mom, bus is coming. I have to go now. Goodbye. Bye. Keep contact and stay healthy. I have a great dinner today. Thank you so much for your delicious meal. You're welcome. I'm very glad that you came. Thank you for inviting me. No, thanks. So, will I see you this Saturday? Yeah, that's right. I will see you at the concert. Good. See you then. Bye-bye. Say thank you and sorry. Sorry, could you please help me a little? Sure, what can I do for you? Which bus do I take to go to Yale University? The number 8 bus goes there from here. Great, thanks a lot. How often does this bus come? Every 30 minutes. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Sorry, may I come in, please? You are late for class today? I'm sorry, I promise it will not happen again. Are you sure? 
Yes, I will get here earlier from the tomorrow. Okay, I'll forgive you, but don't let it happen again. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now let's start a lesson today. Excuse me, Peter. Please help me with this computer. What's wrong with it, Anna? There seems some error with my electric mail. This little message keeps coming up. I don't understand it. It's really frustrating. Oh, keep calm. That's a minor problem. Just don't push this key. All right, thanks. Identifying and describing people. Do you know the woman who just came into our office? Who? The one with the short yellow hair. I see a couple of women with short yellow hair. The one wearing the pink dress with black eyes, a high nose, and a beautiful small mouth. She is very good looking. Oh, that's the new director's assistant. Her name is Alice. Really? When did she join our company? Why didn't I know? Uh, she has just joined us this Monday. You had a day off on this day, right? Oh, yes. How are her characteristics? She is very intelligent and friendly. Okay. Let me get acquainted with her. Yes, you should do that. Hey, did you see Mary's boyfriend? No, did you see him? Yes, I met them at Jane's wedding party yesterday. What does he look like? He looks manly and handsome. Really? I guess that he is tall. Yeah, he is quite tall with short blonde hair. Is he fat or thin? He looks fit. Not too fat. Not thin. Yeah, Mary is so lucky to have handsome boyfriends. I wish I had a handsome boyfriend like hers. Age. You seem to be in a hurry. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to pick up my daughter at the nursery school. You have a daughter? How old is she? She's five years old. She's going to become a first grade student next year. Oh, this must be an important period with her, so you should concentrate on her more. Yeah, I know. I have to go now. See you later. Bye. Do you have any brothers, Lucy? Yes, I have one elder brother and one younger brother. Wow, that is wonderful. What are their names? They are Henry and Matthew. How old are they? Henry is older than me by two years. He is 12 years old. And Matthew is younger than me by three years. He is seven years old. I hope I have brothers the same as you. Brother, I really would like to see that new movie. But it has a parental warning. It is for people from 17 years old or older. No problem. I'll just wear Dad's suit. I'm sure that ticket collector won't let you get past the front door. Really? Can I try? I think that it's not suitable for your age. That is why I want to try the new things. Places and Directions Can you show me where the bus stop is? 
Sorry, I don't know where the bus stop is. Okay, let me ask someone else. Yes, or you can get a bus map at the newspaper stand. Okay, could you show me the nearest newspaper stand, please? Sure, just go straight ahead around 500 meters. The newspaper stand is on the right, next to the cafeteria. Okay, I see. Thank you so much for your help. You are welcome. Excuse me, how do I get from here to the gas station? Just go straight on Macmillan, then turn left on the first street, and you'll see the gas station on the corner of First and Washington Boulevard. Go straight on Macmillan, and then turn left on First Street? Yeah, that's it. Yes, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, could you please show me where the post office is? It's south of here. Which way should I go? Go through three blocks south and one block east. It's on the left side of the street next to the museum. Got it, thanks. Family relationships. Hurry up! I don't want to be late. Today you will have a family reunion, right? Yes, I haven't seen my family in over a year. You should visit them more often, at least twice per year. I know, but it's hard. You know my family is far from here, and we are also busy all the time. Even busy, you should have some days off to visit your parents. You should balance between family and work. Yes, I know. What about your family reunion today? Will all people join? Yes, my grandparents, my parents, my younger brother and elder sisters. Also my uncle and his wife and their children. You mean that Uncle Thomas? Of course, he has never missed a reunion. Will he drink this year? Hopefully my grandfather will stop him, but we'll see. This could be interesting. Come on, let's get in the car. I wish I could share your happiness. Wow, you made so many copies of photos you took in Australia. Yeah, I always take a lot of photos when I'm going on a holiday. What are you going to do with them? Keep them? Yes, I will keep some photos. The remainder will be sent to my mom and dad. I guess that will make them very happy to see them. Yes, you are right. They are always eager to receive my photos. Just same as they got on holiday with us. Because I often write a trip route at the back of each photo. That's nice of you. She'll be very glad to read your adventures. Yeah, that will make their day. Where were you? We waited for half an hour, but then we decided to go first without you. I am so sorry. I had to pick up my son at the school first. Today, my husband works late, so I can't let my son be alone. Your son? Will he come to the end year party with us together? Yes, we are on the way to the end year party. That sounds great. See you and your son soon. Talking about the weather. I hate to drive in traffic like this. The rain is better than fog, and it's hard to see the road. Yes, you are correct. The weather is sunny and warm should be better. Oh, we have all kinds of weather in Texas. In the summer, it's so hot you can fry an egg on the street. 
And in the winter, it snows in some places, and there's a lot of fog, too. Well, you never see pictures of skiing cowboys. Real funny. The road is narrow. Be careful. We don't want to spend the week in the hospital. Yes, I will drive more slowly. When do you think we'll get to Fuji Mountain? Not before midnight. Then let's stay in the guest house tonight. Yeah, it doesn't look like the weather is going to clear up. And I'm not going camping in the woods until I hear the weather report. What's the weather like out there? You wouldn't believe how hot it is right now. Why not? It is March. It's been cool all week. Now it's hot like summer. The weather report said there will be 40 degrees during the three days. Really? This early in March? It's happened before. Yes, I like cool and warm weather in spring. I don't like too hot weather. Fall the weather can be pretty nice here. You got that right. Animals. What are you going to do? I am taking my dog to the vet. What is wrong with your dog? Nothing serious. He got in a fight with another dog. Is he hurt? No, he just has a few small cuts on his face. I hope they don't get infected. That's why I'm taking him to the vet. I remember when he was just a cute little dog. Well, he's not that way anymore. He sounds like a real menace. He certainly is, but he's got personality. Hmm, I can't deny that. Good luck with the bet. Let me know what happens. Thanks, I will. See you later. See ya. Mommy, what kind of animal is that? Lucy, it's a kangaroo. It is a large marsupial. It's very strange. Where does it come from? It comes from Australia. No other country has them. It is identified by its muscular tails, strong back legs, large feet, short fur, and long pointed ears. What do you mean no other country has them? We've got one right here. But this is a zoo. That's a lovely dog. How long have you had it? Yeah, he's great, isn't he? We got him last month. What do you feed him? We give him meat. He also likes bread. I wish our house was big enough for a pet. I'd like a dog just like him. Actually, we didn't get him to be a pet, but to be a guard dog. Housework. You can't watch TV right now. Why not? This is my favorite show. You haven't washed the dishes and cleaned the kitchen. I will do them after finishing watching the show. No, you can't. You have to clean the dishes in the kitchen first. But I want to watch TV. Can you do me a favor? If so, I will wash the dishes and clean the kitchen instead of you. And then you will clean the bathroom instead of me. Is that okay or not? Thank you. Please remember to mop the floor and throw out the old food in the refrigerator. I know. But when will you clean the bathroom? We have to finish it all before our parents come back. Yes, I promise. Just 30 more minutes. Okay, just make sure it gets done. I will, I will. How come 
in the house is always a mess. Not. I think that everything is neat. Look, your clothes are laying everywhere, and Sam's toys are all over the floor. Newspapers and magazines are a mess on the table. Oh, honey, I just got home. Let me rest for a while first. No, how can you rest in such a messy apartment? Please clean and sort them out. <sighs> okay, we will do it together. Good morning, Anna. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Not yet. Is there anything I need to do? I would like to invite you to a barbecue with my friends. Hmm, regrettably, I'd like to go, but I've got a lot of housework to do. I have to do the laundry, mop the floor, and wash the dishes and clothes. Only housework? I think you can do it later. Oh, you don't know. Right now, I share the apartment with my sister. And if she comes home and finds I haven't done anything, she would get really mad at me. Well, I feel sorry for you. Maybe next time when you're not busy. Duration. Hi, Lucy. I thought you've gone to Russia. No, I'm still waiting for my visa. You are immigrating, right? Yeah, my husband applied for my visa last January. Well, it's been nearly a year. Do you know how much longer you'll have to wait? I don't have a clue. The official says that I'll have to wait for at least another two months before the process can be finalized. So who knows how long that will be. Well, I didn't know going to Russia would be such an ordeal. Your husband must miss you very much. I miss him too. Well, I hope you two will be together soon. Thank you. Hello. I see you have been sitting here for a long time. Who are you waiting for? I'm waiting for a girl I met last night. She said to meet each other here at five o'clock. But it's six now. You've been sitting there for an hour just waiting for her? How much longer are you going to wait for her? Don't be a fool. Come home with me instead, and have a drink. That sounds like a good idea. How long does it take to get to your new place? Only five minutes. Great, let's go.